What is going on guys? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate. Yesterday we talked about Odell and how he could be a potential favorite for the Miami Dolphins to go out and sign as our wide receiver three in free agency because that is still a position I think the Dolphins need to address whether it is free agency, whether it is the draft, one way or another. I believe the Miami Dolphins need to address it and add another wide receiver to this roster. And we talked about Odell yesterday. We talked about the positives. We talked about the negatives. And I came to the conclusion that he is certainly not my first choice when it comes to another wide receiver being added to this team. Today, we are going to talk about my number one option for the wide receiver three position, and that is Tyler Boyd, previously of the Cincinnati Bengals. It entirely looks like Tyler Boyd is going to walk and is going to be signing with another team. Now, depending on what happens with T. Higgins, I can see him being brought back to the Bengals. However, if they are able to keep T. Higgins, there's zero chance that he is brought back to the team. And that opens him up to sign with a, a whole host of teams. And I think he's going to be in a situation where he wants to play for a championship. That's something that we can offer. Tyler Boyd has just been the model of consistency since he joined the Cincinnati Bengals back in 2016. You take away his first couple years, every single year since then, he's had 700, 800, 900 even a thousand yard seasons as sometimes he's been the wide receiver two, sometimes he's been the wide receiver three, sometimes he's had to been the wide receiver one, which is not ideal. Uh, let's let's keep it real. He's not somebody who you want as your number one guy going into the season. However, he was selected 55th overall in the second round of the 2016 draft and has just been nothing but consistent for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's always available, which is something we talked about yesterday with Odell, the fact that he misses time and even when he is available, he isn't out on the field as much as, as he should be. Tyler Boyd, you do not have those issues at all. Tyler Boyd is available. He's ready to go. He doesn't get hurt that often. Not a really big injury issue. Not big injury history. And he's somebody I think that would plug in amazing for this Miami Dolphins team. Boyd is somebody that can line up all over the field. He has a six foot two frame, around 200 pounds. We have seen him line up outside. We have seen him line up in the slot. We have seen him play with different types of star receivers around him. Most recently, obviously, there's T. Higgins and Jamar Chase that he's played around with the Cincinnati Bengals. But then you go all the way back to his early days with Cincinnati. You had AJ uh, AJ Green outside with him so he can play with stars he can play on his own if those stars get hurt he has stepped up to the table and, and provided some really good games for the Bengals when any of those stars were, were out due to injury he steps up he's a guy that you've never heard anybody say a single negative word as far as I can as far as I'm aware don't kill me but as far as I'm aware you never heard anybody say a single bad word from about about Tyler Boyd just shows up does the job somebody that's good in the locker room and, and somebody that has made himself a very solid career about being the next guy in line, being somebody who is available and, and can participate at a high functioning level for the Cincinnati Bengals team. Yes, he is past his best years as he had back-to-back thousand -back yard seasons in the 2018 and the 2019 seasons. You're not going to get that. You're not, you're probably not going to get above seven touchdowns, which is the most that he's had in his career, which happened in that 2018 season. But you're going to get something more around the lines from what we've seen from him recently. Since that 2019 season, 840, 200, or sorry, 830, 762, 670. You see consistency, 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 consistency. That is the true word when you get to Tyler Boyd. He's not the most athletic. He's not the quickest. He's not the tallest. He's not the strongest. He's not. He doesn't stand above in his particular category as as to what he does as the best. But he's there. You can count on him. He's very comparable to Tyler Lockett over in Seattle. Tyler Lockett doesn't get hurt. He stays on the field, has secure hands, is a good locker room guy, and has provided some really good years for that Seattle Seahawks organization. Even if he's not the sexiest name on the board when it comes to wide receivers, not everybody's supposed to be that. Not everybody's supposed to be Jamar Chase, DK Metcalf, Tyreek Hill, these stars of the NFL. Not everybody is going to be that. With Tyler Boyd, you get a guy that you can plug and play across the board, get a very diverse route tree from him. You're not going to be wowed away by any one particular thing that he does, but he's available. And that's just, that's the most important thing, especially to what the Miami Dolphins saw last year with their, with their roster in general on both sides of the ball. The availability down the stretch, a lot of key guys getting hurt, and that clearly significantly derailed the season. When you have somebody that you can rely on in, in both his play and his, both, both his ability to stay on the field, I think there is no other clearer cut option on the board than Tyler Boyd. 
There's guys that I like that are out there. Michael Thomas, we saw him obviously break some records with the New Orleans Saints. It feels like a lifetime ago. Hunter Renfro, if we didn't re-sign Braxton Berrios, would have been a guy that I love to see Miami Dolphins bring in, but kind of similar molds there with those two wide receivers. DJ Chark, and I'm sure you can find 10 to 20 more guys that you can find that yourself justifying would be a good addition to the Miami Dolphins, and we're probably going to continue to talk about this position because, it, like I keep saying, it is a clear position of need for the Miami Dolphins. So this is something that we're going to be continuing to talk about until either the season starts or the Dolphins finally add somebody. Again, whether that's via the draft, whether that's due free agency, this is a position that I think the Dolphins have to attack before going into the season next year. And I'm very confident there are guys out there that can do the job better than what we've seen in previous years with Cedric Wilson, with uh, with last year, with Braxton Berrios, with River Craycraft, with Eric Azucama, with just the guys that are next in line that haven't quite stepped up and made that wide receiver three position theirs. There are guys out there that I believe can do that. And for, for sure, for certain, my number one guy to do that is Tyler Boyd. The yards are there. He literally has exactly 6,000 yards in his career over, I believe, eight seasons. You're not you're not getting that high end number from him. You're not you're probably not ever going to reach that thousand yards mark from him again. But you see a benchmark of at least eclipsing 650 yards, and the Miami Dolphins will certainly take that to their offense. I think just a matter of money, because I don't think I'm the only person who shares the belief that he's the best wide receiver available on free agency. I'm sure there's a lot of NFL teams that share the same sentiment and are going to be eager to bring him into the building. Hopefully, Miami Dolphins are the one to secure his services. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think of Tyler Boyd? Do you think he is as good of an option as I think he is? The numbers don't lie. The injury history doesn't lie. The availability, the locker room presence, all these things do not lie. The tape doesn't lie about Tyler Boyd. Let me know what you think about him. Do you disagree with anything I just said? And if not Tyler Boyd, who would you like to see the Miami Dolphins bring in as another wide receiver, whether it be through the draft, whether it be free, through free agency? Let us know, or even somebody on the team that you believe can step up to the plate. Let us know down below in the comments your thoughts on Boyd and all these other receivers that are out there that could potentially be the wide receiver three for the Miami Dolphins. While down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate y'all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Go Dolphins.